Hello. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you doing today, guys? You shy today? I am fine. Ah, okay, okay. I thought you were shy today. You were you were not speaking to me. A little bit. Ah, you shy. Why are you shy? Porque están shy. What happened? I don't know. Okay, okay. That's that's as he saw a teacher teacher. That's that's how I am. Yes, right? that's how I am. <laughs> You're very shy. Okay, excellent. Well, some people are shy. I used to I used to be shy. I used to be shy in in an introvert, like a very inside person. But then I became a teacher. And as a teacher, I cannot be shy. I have to be speaking to my students and I have to make you guys speak. Because sometimes you don't want to speak. That's my job. Can you hear me and can you see me well? Perfectly. Perfectly. Excellent. Yes, it's because I was talking and I was like, I don't know if they are listening to me or not what is happening but yeah you would think you're listening to me okay so welcome to the class welcome to this class that is your class number seven yeah it's your class number seven so basically tomorrow is your class number eight after tomorrow's class then you're gonna have only two more weeks and we're over with the module. That is the thing about these programs. They go so fast. I always feel like they go so fast and then we're in the next module. Um, and tomorrow is Thursday. So obviously my question is, did you complete the, or are you, <clears throat> are you close to completing the platform to section three and the midterm? Actually, I um, did the section three and I but, uh, sorry. going to uh, section four. Okay, okay, perfect, Janet. Julio, you were saying, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm working uh, so fast I can and watching video, complete the sentences and all the tasks. Uh, 2.12. Okay. Uh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, 2.10, sorry. 2.10, okay, so uh, maybe by I, tomorrow I, you're gonna be in section three, finishing. Absolutely. Okay, perfect, Julio. Um, Marcos, could you were speaking, I'm sorry. I am, um, I'm gonna complete chapter three point twelve and the section three, admin term, I'm not complete. Oh, because it's because you sent me a message in the uh, morning, need, right? Yeah, yeah, I need to uh, explain of the exercise. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if sometimes I don't reply in the mornings. It's because I'm working in the morning. I'm finish. I finished the exercise. I. You need okay. uh, I finished the exercise. Guys, una cosa, si no les contesto un momento en la mañana, if I don't reply to you in the morning, send me a message in the afternoon. Because in the mornings, I work at a public school. Trabajo en una escuela pública. So in the mornings, it's really busy and there are a lot of meetings. And yeah, so it's better if you text me in the afternoon. It's I think I will have more time to answer. But you can always text me in the morning. It's just, if I don't reply, then send me a message again in the afternoon, because sometimes I just forget. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, you were saying 3.12. The exercise, is what exercise? The number of the exercise? 
Page three, I think. Is it number three? No, it's, it's, he sent me a message, yes. Um, In direct right way. Wait a second. Mm. Teacher, I need your help. Yeah, I'm gonna help you. Just let me help Marcos. So, number so three. The, the yeah, number three. The are um, sending the message and the screenshot. I'm finished. Oh, okay. So what is the one that you're missing? Yeah. I need a help on the, on the 3.12. Mm -hmm. 3.12. The number no. three. Yeah, 3.12, the number three. Okay. Well, okay. So it says number three. You want a friend to help you move on Saturday? That one, no. How many friends? Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Déjeme compartir la pantalla. Let me share you my screen and then you tell me if I'm in the right place because maybe I'm not. Just wait a second. So this one here? Yes. So the problem is this one. What was your answer in that one? I'm sorry, Marcos. I think you're speaking, but I cannot hear you. Uh -huh. Uh, who is a uh, compliment in the, uh -huh. the exercise? So what did you, what was the beginning of the question? I mean, how did you do it? I need to exp explain. Of the, oh, you need me to explain it to you? You yeah, don't, yeah. okay, okay. And I don't understand. Just the number three, right? So look here. In the beginning, so here, we have an example that the first part in this case is could, yes? So we're gonna open the question obviously with. Could you ask? Cool, cool, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Could you ask? Cool, you ask. ¿Y qué le estamos preguntando? Kevin, whether or not yeah, yeah. But, accept the invitation to Tony's. But I think I think you only have to write only, to only Kevin, yes. Okay. So Marcos, Kevin. thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Janet. Marcos, in this case, we are opening the question with could. Okay. Then after the that is gonna be like a modal verb. After the modal verb, I need a subject. In this case, the subject is you. And then ask Kevin. So do you, do you get it now? Yes. Okay. I just have so, a question for you guys in this case, because I remember that I told you at the beginning of the module that, so I'm not gonna tell you what I told you. I'm just gonna see if you remember. So in this case, we have two people in this sentence. Can you see? We have you and we have Kevin. One person is the subject. Who or what is the subject of this sentence, of this question, I mean? You. You. And so if you is the subject, what is Kevin? Like a noun? Mm, a noun, maybe. What else? I told you at the beginning of the classes. I remember. If you have notes, if you have... Jeron? Jeron? Mm, mm, Sorry, object. 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 So you remember that Sometimes in a sentence, we have the subject 
and we have the object. The subject is the person who is doing the action and the object is the person who is receiving or the, the person or the thing that is receiving the action. Do you remember that? Got it. Okay, so try to think about that because yeah, we saw that last week. Okay, uh, another person told me that they needed help. So who's the person? Me, teacher. Okay, Jose, tell me. I need help exercise. ¿Cómo se llama? La parte número uno, no sé cómo es. Section one. In the section, in the section one or in the section three. Section one, the exercise one point four. Okay, okay, okay. Section the one. Last, the last uh, exercise. Let me see. One point four. Now let's check. Okay. What exercise did you say? Hello. The last one, teacher, the uh, compare number relative seven pronouns number two. Oh, relative pronouns. Yes, we did one of those. We did it. Uh, yeah. The second. The second one. Yes. We did the no we did the number one in the class. So I think uh, you will have the number one. I don't remember. Okay, so it says I don't like to be with people mm. ah, okay 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 maybe yeah i see what is the problem because maybe you're writing with well let me show you i'm gonna share my screen mm. okay here here okay So the answer can be, I don't like to be with people, okay? So in this case, remember, we use something to join the sentences. Relative pronouns, we can use what? We have two relative pronouns that we can use there. Yes, who or that? Who, okay, who. And then we write the next part. I have nothing in common. And here is the problem maybe, because you're gonna write the statement only till with. With. You're with. not gonna write this person. Yes, exactly, Milton. Because rem this person, okay, so this person in this sentence is being replaced by who. Okay, so you don't need to write this person at the end because you are already talking about who and who is this person. Do you do you got it, Jose? Teacher, I guess. Huh? Yes, teacher, I got it. Okay, perfect, perfect. So that is a problem when we have who in and we are gonna add the, the conjunction with, we're gonna say with, so, and we have who, then we're gonna say with at the end of the statement. So just like this, okay. And let me see if I did it right. Yes, it's correct. Okay, um, so far so good. Do you have any more questions or any more uh, any anything else to ask about the platform? Teacher. Okay, tell me. Teacher, I have uh, this is Saul. Okay, Saul. The problem the part three point four. Okay, let me check. Three point four. Mm 
Wait a second, the platform is a little bit slow. 3.4, what part? Uh, it's a uh, request that uh, the value is uh, three points. For example, is uh, you want to use your roommate's computer? Is it okay? And I feel uh, several ways and I can get good results. Are three, seven, uh, four sentences. Okay. Um, yes, I think yesterday we solved that exercise, but I'm gonna show you here. You're gonna add the last part, only the last part. So for example, you want to use your roommate's computer. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if I use your computer? Yes. Did you do yes. it like that? I, yes, I feel in that way and I don't know what is the problem. Okay, because, sometimes uh, with the platform, you have to be very specific because this platform is, um, remember, it's a robot, it's a machine, it's a program that you cannot, they, they don't think like we think. For example, if you write this with capital letter, it's gonna take it as incorrect. So maybe it's a capital letter. Maybe if you do this double space, maybe can take it incorrect. So what you have to do mm -hmm. is write it as okay. exactly as it is there. Let me send you. Okay, try to copy that. No, right now, yes. Yeah, it's there. I have a problem with the second, okay. uh, second sentences only. In this exercise as well, Janet? Yes, but only in the second sentence. You'd like you'd like for your neighbor to give you a right to work. Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind what? What did you write there, Janet? Okay, it's right your answer. Okay, it's okay. It's right your answer. Very good, Saul. Excellent. I don't, I don't know why, but I've yeah. tried of several ways, including that way. In, but now it's good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes the problem, Saul, is that maybe you add a double space or something. Okay. Okay, That's maybe the good. double. Sometimes the double pen. The double space, the point, the exactly the capital letters, the lowercase. The yeah. capital letter, yes, yes. Okay, thank you, uh, Janet. I was asking, what is, what are you writing here? Uh, Would you mind me a right to to work? Would you mind? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Would you mind? If you give me a right to work. Okay, thank you, Janet. Remember, in yesterday's class, I was telling you that when we have, would you mind, like that, would you mind, the next verb, it's gonna be in? Jaren. Jaren. Giving me a right to work but i i wrote this but the the platform say incorrect look at that i changed to to the sentences yeah maybe it's again the spaces you're given or the punctuation try copy and paste that. Works. Yes, it does. Okay. So no more problems with the platform? Nope. 
Perfect. So let's go here. We're gonna give, I'm gonna give you just like five minutes, less than five minutes really quick to try this. Remember, this is our pronunciation practice as we do it every day, because it's very important that we do pronunciation. Remember the pronunciation of this is how, no ho, is how much would, would a, would chuck, chuck, it's not chuck, <clears throat> and don't say would a would a, it's would, would a, would chuck chuck, if a, would chuck, could chuck, would. Okay, so I'm gonna give you just some minutes to practice. Remember, try to do it perfectly. And if you know a pronunciation and your classmates, your classmate is having problems, you can help them, okay? Let's do, let's go really quick and then we come back. Saúl, le llegó la invitación. Did you get the invite?
Chalk, chalk is a good chalk, go to good. Okay, Sandra. How much wood would I would chop chop if I would chop could chop wood? The in the beginning, uh, how much? Uh, repeat, Sandra. How much wood would I would no. chop? Oh, well, I mean, if the teacher says the pronunciation is no much, no, much, much. How much? Uh, how much? Yes. How much? much. How much? No, no, but, but listen to me, much. listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. It's much because much. it's ch much. much. If you say much. no, 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 listen. If you say mosh, is with sh. We're saying with ch, so it's much, much. Yeah, exactly. How much, much. much. How there, much? there we okay. go. Yes. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. okay, Sandra, repeat. How much? Um, who's the next? How much wood would I would shock chop if I would shock could shock wood? How much wood would I would chop if I would shock could chop wood? How much wood would I would shock chop if I would shock could chop wood? How much wood I would shock chop if I would shock could chop wood? How much wood would I would shock shock if I would shock could shock wood? How much wood would I would chuck if I would chuck could chuck wood? Mm -hmm. How people, much would I the, the hmm? next people How would, would chuck chuck if I would chuck could chuck wood? <laughs> <laughs> okay. My turn. How much good would I would chuck chuck if I would chuck good chuck wood? <laughs> That's better. <laughs> So your classmates don't want to come to the main session. Hmm, okay. So I'm gonna make them get back right now. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we're getting there and we're getting them more there. Okay, now, first of all, thank you to the people that have the cameras on. If you cannot have your camera on, please send me a message privately and say, teacher, please, I'm going to have my camera off because of this or because of that. But if that is not the case, please turn your cameras on. You know that already. Okay. Anyways, we're going to... Uh, when I went to the breaker rooms, <laughs> there was one breaker room. They were all with the cameras off and with the microphones off 
And when I went to the breakout room, they were like, okay, okay, um, it's my turn. I'm going to say it. <laughs> I saw you guys. You think I don't see you? I saw you. Okay. Um, now, you say much. Remember, I heard in a breakout room that they were saying like mush. So just for you to know, remember that the letter SH sounds like sh, but the letter CH sounds like ch, ch, okay? So it's different mush from much, much, mush, much. Okay, that is a big difference that we have to do. So I'm just gonna ask one person if you want to participate, say in the tongue twister, one or two. Nobody? Okay, so I'm gonna do it mausocraticamente. Okay, Marcela. <laughs> Why me? I don't know, I saw you. <laughs> uh, the image. Oh, you want me to share? Okay, 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 okay. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know it by heart. Guys, do you know what is knowing something by heart? Like if you say, I know it by heart, it means by memory, okay? Lo de memoria, you wanna say, I know it by heart or I don't know it by heart. Okay, there we go. Okay. How much would, would I, would Chuck, Chuck if I would, Cool chop wood. Excellent. Good job, Marcela. So, guys, you see here, Marcela was saying it slow, but she did say every single word and she did a good job. So, excellent, Marcela. Y que no aplaude envidia de la mala, de la que corró el corazón. Okay. Very good. Okay. I want to try. Excellent, William. Very good. Let's go. Uh, Sorry, I have some problem with my camera. Okay. Okay. How much would, would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Good job, William. Have you been practicing? Yes. Ah, that's why you see. Excellent. Good job, William. Okay. Thank you. And yeah, I think we're going to leave it there and we're going to continue tomorrow with other people. So, Liliana said it, William said it, Marcela said it. I don't know if Janet said it or who else said it. Oh, Janet, you wanna try it. Okay, 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 sorry, sorry. Didn't see your hand, now I see it. Okay, you can go ahead. How much good would a wood chuck chuck if a good chuck would chuck wood? Excellent, very good. Okay, so. Uh, remember to keep on practicing this. This is not something that is going to be like in a test or you're going to get it on. Okay, excellent, Marcos. Marcos, mira, Janet le aplaudió a Marcos. Good job, Marcos. Excellent. Okay, so <laughs> um, there we go. Okay, guys, remember that this is for your pronunciation. This is not something that is gonna be evaluate, evaluated, but it's something that is gonna help you with your pronunciation, okay? So if you can practice, it's gonna help you. Now, we are going with an exercise that we have on the platform. That is the exercise 3.6. Maybe you did that already, or maybe you didn't. I'm gonna send you the link there to the exercise, that is this one. Pero si no les abre ahí, les voy a mandar el video de YouTube. I'm gonna send you the YouTube link. And we're gonna talk about the video. So we're gonna watch a video and we're gonna talk about the video. And at the end of the video, you will have three questions, okay? So we have three questions here, one, two, and three. Number one says, what does Tina want to borrow from Robert? What does Kyle want to borrow from Maggie? What kind of favor does Phil want? Okay, so we're gonna answer these. And 
try to, like everybody has to answer the questions. And when you finish watching the video, talk about the video, like talk about what you saw in the video. Okay. So it's just a short video. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it again. So Marcos, you're on a computer, right? Jose Manuel, you're on a computer. Miss, mm. I am finished the exercise. I, I see the video in the platform. Yes, but don't worry, we're gonna Me do too. it again. Yes, I know. But this moment, what you're going to do is, if you answer the questions, just compare answers. Okay, solo compare la respuesta. And oh, yes, uh, listen. The, the, the audio. Yeah, listen. And when you finish listening, you talk about the video. So you talk about what you saw on the video, in the video, okay? Yeah. Okay. okay. So it's gonna be quick. Mm, 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 mm. So Jose is a computer in a computer. Marcos is in another computer and Julio. Okay, so let's go, let's go there. They are in different groups. There we go. Ya les envié los invites. Let's go. Diomesis.
Hello. Hi, coach. Hi. So to the people that call me coach, I always think, did you study in a in a like a an academy before? Maybe. Did you study in a in an academy? No, at the for CC. E for CC. Yes. Yeah, because usually when people call me coach, it's because they they were taught to call teachers coach. I have people call me in many ways. People call me teacher, people call me miss, people call me senior, people call me profe, people call me coach, leak, mama, mommy, tia. They call me everything. So and, and it's always fun. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna explain a topic that is not so difficult to understand. And you have the video on the platform, but I'm gonna explain it just in case you have questions. Okay, here. In this case, you have statements for an indirect request. This means that you're making a request for someone that is not present. That is why it's not direct, it's indirect, okay? When I'm you say, you know, when I'm talking about a person that is not present, and I'm making a request, I can use these auxiliaries. Auxiliary that on an imperative. Imperatives, remember, are those verbs. I mean, infinitives, 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 I'm sorry. Infinitives are those verbs that need the to to have an action, to run, to play, to dance, to everything, to. And then we have with if, or with weather, I'm gonna explain right now what it means, or WH words. Let's talk about this first one here, okay? I indirect request introduced by that. That is a problem that many people that speak Spanish have, okay? Because people who speak Spanish, like we do, when we are trying to explain something in English, we use a lot of that. And I told you that, my friend was going and you told me that uh, she is your friend and that make me happy because that was really good. Okay. No sobre usen la palabra that. That's an advice that I'm going to give you. Don't do it like that because that is incorrect. That. Porque nosotros en español decimos que para todo. Me dijiste que y después yo te dije que y eso estaba bien porque que me hizo feliz que 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 que. Don't use that a lot in English. When we use that a lot of times in the sentences on the conversation, we sound like a Latin. Not like a Latin. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I did. I, I haven't thought about it, but yeah, maybe you're right. And I remember when I was a student, I I always were, I, I, I was. Si solo me cargue. ¿Qué? You talking to whom? Están hablando en chat privado y se les olvidó cambiar chat privado a chat público. Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyways. So when we are saying, wait a second. Here. <laughs> when we are saying sentences with that, is to talk about an indirect request. For example, in this case that says, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? Okay. That is to make the request. But listen to this. If we make that statement, that's why is it in the parentheses? If we make a request with that or without that, it always makes sense. Listen, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? Let's change it. Could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Did you hear that? It's the same. Yes, both is correct. Both are correct. Excellent, Janet. Because that is not something really relevant in this case. You can say it with that and you can say it without that. Now, this is to talk about 
indirect request using infinitives. Infinitives are those verbs that are precede by two. So for example, in this case, we're talking about, can you tell Jeff not to be late? Okay, if I want to tell Jeff that I want him to get to the party very late, I'm gonna say, can you tell Jeff to be late? So in this case, what you're saying is saying the verb again, and you're making a request. So pay attention to this because it can be difficult, but it's not difficult. It's difficult if you don't pay attention. Here, in this statement, what is the verb? Be. You. You. Be. ¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? I don't sure, but I tell. There is a tell. Tell. <laughs> tell, exactly. To everybody who yelled tell and to Janet to, to make, <laughs> to was asking for the word, yeah. It's tell. Tell is the verb. Be late. Not to be late is the request. So we're requesting someone not to be late. That's why we use the infinitive because we're talking about a verb that is not the main verb of the statement, okay? So for example, I can say, can you ask um, our boss to bring coffee? Can you ask our boss to bring coffee? You see? So I'm asking, ask is the verb. Can you ask um, the boss to bring coffee is the request. That's why we're gonna use the infinitives to make the request. Do you get it? I have a question. Yeah, Liliana, yeah. tell me. Uh, well, in the first part, uh, we can say another verb. Uh, for example, can you, can you, the end or can you cry? I don't know, uh, or, or just tell and, uh, and ask. That's a very good question, Liliana. And maybe just say verbs that are about request. So maybe we can say tell, we can say ask, and we can say request because this is to talk about request. So, for I example. I think as a sentence, uh, if you say, uh, could you cry if my mom say it? Oh, I don't know. E, the statement oh. you, you're saying is correct, but not in this case. In this case, you were just making request. Okay. For example, let me, te, let me explain this to you in Spanish. Por ejemplo, si yo voy a preguntarle algo a alguien en español, hacerle un pedido a alguien en español, yo diría, puedes pedir que traigan esto. O puedes preguntarle a tal persona que haga esto. O puedes decirle a tal persona que haga esto. Para hacer el pedido, simplemente vamos a utilizar el ask, tell, or request. Ok, because we're talking about request. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, okay. thank Perfect. you. Mm -hmm. Now, the second one here is if or whether. Can you ask Sofia if she's free on Friday? So can you ask Sofia, in this case, guys, and in this case, it's not optional like with that. In this case, we have to write if. Because if I don't write if to make the request, it doesn't make sense. Listen, can you ask Sophia, she's free on Friday? Doesn't make sense. But if we add the, if we are introducing the possibility that something it's there, if yes or if not. So in this case, can you ask Sophia if she's free on Friday? If I say, can you ask Sophia, she's free on Friday? doesn't make sense. Could you ask her whether, whether we use it 
usually we use it with, we have two options, two options. So whether this or whether that, okay? Whether yes or whether no. Could you ask her whether or not, like assuming whether is affirmative, could you ask her whether or not she has my number? So in this case, with whether we're introducing two possibilities, whether yes or whether no. The answer can be yes or the answer can be no. Whether. Yes. For example, if I say, um, can you ask um, Pedro whether he likes to go to the beach or to the park? I'm asking for two possibilities. You see? Yeah? No? Blanco, negro, azul, morado? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. The next one is with WH questions. With WH questions, we're going to do a request that are very specific. Because remember, WH questions are very specific. Who, what, when, why, right? So what is where. when? Where, where. When is for time. Where is for places. Who is for people. What is for things. Why is for reasons. So in this case, it's very specific, the request that we're making. Can you ask Jeff when the party starts? So the request that I'm making is that I need to know the plate. I mean, when, when, the time. I need to know the time, sorry. Could you ask Sophia what time I should pick her up? So I'm gonna use WH words with a specific request. Is that clear or not? Yes, you got it. Perfect. So if this is like a explanation of everything as a whole, but if you want to guys, you can watch these videos as many times as you want. The ones that I was talking about with infinitives here uh, is explained very specifically, but the infinitives remember, always remember that infinitives are verbs in the base form using to, okay? To dance, to cry, to speak, to everything. And when we're gonna do a negative with to, we're just gonna say not to. So for example, remember not to be late to the class. Remember not to be late to the class, that's a request. And the other one can be remember to turn on your cameras. That's another request. And that's an affirmative one too. Okay. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow because it's 9, 9 5 and I think you need to go to sleep maybe uh, or you need to go to your family. So I will see you guys tomorrow and remember tomorrow you have to complete the platform section three and the midterm. Yes? Got it. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Okay, okay thank you. Tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Have a great night. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye. 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 Bye.